Nah, we're veterans. We know how to walk. Welcome to the channel of the Roving Vets. We are Rob and Bethany. And don't forget our fur baby, the Traveling Maverick. We have been a full-time RV living family since October of 2020. We like to rover around the country in our RV. And we're also both military veterans, which is why we chose the name The Roving Vets. This episode, we're taking you to the Big Tent RV Show in Quartzsite, Arizona. So come along and see what all was there, and also check out the things that we decided to purchase. Here we go. Well, we've decided that we're going to take the Rhino to the Big Tent Show, so that way we can do the off-road is so backed up right now so my suggestion to you if if you're cool with it we're cool with it that's what we're doing we just pulled into one of the BLM areas and we have a Jeep right so we're just gonna park this wherever we feel like parking it out here in the middle of the wilderness and then we're just gonna walk to the tent because instead of waiting in line like 30 minutes just to get to the parking area nah we're veterans, we know how to walk. Here's what we did. We parked the Jeep in the one little spot not big enough for anybody to really park. And we're walking, we're gonna walk towards the road and then we're gonna walk from the road towards the tent. So that way we don't have to walk through anybody's sight. So we happened to walk into the Brinkley 40 foot toy hauler. This is cool. So this is the salsa bar that goes with the Mexican taco chip. So this is, what'd you get, Rob? Street tacos or Carne something else? Carne asada. Carne asada. Okay. It's looking good. Now that you're two tacos in, what do you think? Very good. I like it. Fish and chips looks good. Here we go. We'll see if it really is. Well, I pretty much finished that, so. I guess you could say it was good. You look like a kid in a candy store. What's wrong? I just don't know what to do first. <laughs> What you finding over here, dear? Wow, what a setup. Look at that. That Those is an game insane amount of batteries right there. Okay. Okay. This one here is a swing away lid instead of a lift top lid. So you don't have to pull everything off the top when you want to get in and out of it. You put it next to a chair. Yeah. It's about the same yeah. height as your chair. When you swing it shut, 450 pound weight limit. So they're padded seats. So this can be your seat. Yep. And then it's got a refrigerated pocket on the side. That's where you put your sandwiches and cold cuts or extra cans. That's from the side pocket. You grab a whole hey, there you go. Oh yeah, it's still cold. But it holds plenty of weight up there. Pretty cool right there. And when you swing it shut, it's self-sealing, self-aligning. Uh, the big one, everybody thinks that holds maybe uh, 12 or 18 cans. That big one holds a 30 pack and an eight pound bag of ice. 30 pack and an eight pound bag of ice. Yeah, the pocket over here, it's got 200 in your polyester with no urethane backing. So it lets just enough cooling through to protect electronics from the heat. They stay upright. So even if you're, it always is self-correcting. Mm -hmm. And I've never tipped one in my sailboat either. There and then go. what some people do when they get the set, because they'll use the little one for hot goods or clean ice that people aren't digging their hands through. Oh, or yeah. Can, if there's kids around, stuff the kids uh, in the little one, stuff the adults in the big one. When people stow it away in their garage, it's nice because it doesn't take up the space that the other coolers do. You hang it on the wall. So that's a, the wheel solid urethane. They run like a high pressure tire, but they never go flat. And then this is a quick release hub. So you can stow everything away oh. completely flat in your RV. It doesn't weigh much at all, but that'll Ooh, hold 100 pounds of weight. So you can hold yes. both coolers loaded. Oh my goodness, that is both the lightest the back. piece of luggage I own. Did yeah. You design this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm being better. There you go. All right, so uh, I think we're gonna call it a day. It is 4.30. We've spent most of the day here just roaming around, but we're gonna head back to the campsite. In proper Bethany style with the old Jeeper. May my own parking place. <laughs> or you can pay $10 to park um, at their event, or you can just do the way that I did it and make the Jeeper make its own home in the dirt. <laughs>
what? This is actually a really good idea for somebody who has mobility issues. If you could use it as a cane and then when you got tired, you sit down. That's pretty genius. There's a whole harvest host tent in here as well. They got plenty of options of food around here, so you, if you're hungry, it's your own fault. This, you can get dish or you can get freedom ropes. There is your plethora of RV supplies around here, so you don't have to worry about needing something here. And then see, that's what I ate the other day. Mexican food, so what Rob ate the other day. You got the ice cream selection for days over there. A coffee wagon if you want something to drink. Another little food truck, Williams Concessions over here. And a Thai place as well. Might even grab you some kettle corn or mini donuts if you want. So they're having some sale right now on the electric bikes and it's only, their sign keeps saying only $700 quartzite special. <laughs> so we looked into it, asked some questions and it's for the older version that they're not going to sell anymore because there's a new generation out. So heck, if you just want one of the bikes and you don't care what generation it is, they're probably going to be having them on sale for the next, I would say, until they get rid of them. Not just at Quartzsite, at any RV rally. So, get an old one for a cheaper price. You better come to this tent. You can try all the different flavors of their dips. They have some sweet ones. They also have some, some regular ones. And they also have spicy ones. Okay. Dip person that I am. I had to get eight dips. <laughs> But actually nine. They decided they were having a sale on them today because it's the last day and I got nine for 38 bucks. I'm excited about this. Now when you're in this tent stuff looking at stuff, you better be checking your prices. Because I saw some of these in a different tent for $160. Now they're 89 on this tent. Just make sure you're looking and not paying more than you have to. Oh yeah, here we go, about to eat this pretzel right here. I think so. All right, made it to the car and I'm about to eat me this pretzel. I might have already started. I might have taken one little bite out of it because I couldn't wait. But my water was in here. Uh -huh. Okay. The cheese, man, that is good together. And the pretzel. This is really good. Very good, actually. Good decision. Gary's the one, the guy we got the coolers from, he's the one that suggested this and he said, you gotta try one. You gotta try one, you gotta eat one of these. He was totally right. Yeah, I trust him. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It is officially the last day of the RV show. I'm done with all the booths, I'm done with all that stuff gonna head back to camp. We got lots more quartzite footage to come. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more.